mention that talent that John Calipari has at his disposal off the bench. Dillingham, that one will rim in. A fend off and Dillingham indicating the defender was too small. Points here in this game. Dillingham, the speed, shifting gears, left hand, and a chance for three. And he's just too good. Too good to to not be a factor in this game. A creative score of Kentucky leading to offense. Impressive. 51-41, Dillingham, so good around the rim, and he just tosses it near the rim. Give away on Enzo, I believe. Who's Reeves? Dillingham, behind the back with it. Dillingham goes to the rim, flips it up, no. Cleared, outside, Edwards, short. Long rebound, Vescovy. Edwards floated. Dillingham's got it. He'll pull up. A straightaway tray. This kid is tough. Ooh. Dillingham one on one with Meshack. The pull up jump. No good. Rebound. Ziegler, smallest man on the floor, comes away with it. Out of white shirts. A 38. Shepard knocked away by Ziegler. It bounces right back to Shepard. Dillingham missed it off the heel. Five point game. Just over five minutes. 12. Dillingham, one four set, goal to the goal, missed it, rebounded by Ziegler. Nice job by James tipping it. Dangerous because they've got guards in mark and battle that can really score. He only scores about six a game and he's on that already. Dillingham off the window. So creative, there's so many. Bring it back out on top. Eight on the shot clock. The extra pass to the corner, Dillingham short on a three. I like Arkansas's defense. They're keeping the oh. last okay. year, the Sweet 16. This year, they'd have to win the SEC tournament to get there. Dillingham pull up from 15. And Arkansas rebound off to the Hogs. Dialed in defensively. Defensively, Devo can guard anybody. He's doing a good job on Dillingham. First lead of the second half for the Razorbacks, and there's a <laughs> runner on the baseline. There's a score just, for you. Just as you say it. And Kentucky gets the rebound, looking to push it. I thought that was a foul. Dillingham in traffic, way up off the window. Last game, 12, 12 points, 13 rebounds, yep, four, four blocks. blocks. He led him in every category. Here's Dillingham with a fire in and out on a three. Bradshaw gets the offensive rebound in traffic. Pettit to the big guys. <laughs> big guys are always a different breed. Two-point game. Dillingham trying to change that. Battle for the rebound is Arkansas as they can regain. Good job getting matched up in transition. This is Reed Shepard time, too. This is when he starts to take over. Here's again. Dillingham. Didn't get it. Good hustle, though. He got it back. Shepard thought about a three. He'll let Dillingham take it instead. And the rebound off to the Razorbacks. Dillingham, a steal. And a chance for a three-point play. What a play. Rebound comes off the Edisich. Kentucky a chance to regain the lead. Behind the back by Dillingham. Up off the window and in. Rob Dillingham time. Having the ball better than shooting threes. Play to your strengths. Let battle and Davenport shoot the threes. Dillingham going to work again. Jumper, no good. Knocked out of bounds. Cont I just switch it. Let him get twos. Here they go. Here comes Z in the middle of the floor. Dillingham up, under, and around. That's incredible. That's incredible. Levin had 18 points and four blocks. He's already got a couple now. Look at the speed of Dillingham. The rip. Missed the three. Edwards, easy layup. Well, that has to be Edwards' game to get him full athlete for Chris Chan's inside. Dillingham, the floater, no good. And rebound by Murphy. And everything lines up with his release. Reeves, crowd wanted some steps. Dillingham needs it, can't get it. Loose ball, it'll stay with Kentucky. Dillingham's speed has been a big difference. The three is no good. Well, it, 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 this applies when Kentucky, Kansas, Duke, Carolina, UConn come to town or a number one or two ranked team. Dillingham, they lead the game now on a three.
three. He is. Dillingham's got two seconds to shoot it. Fade away, no good. Shot clock violation. Probably the best defensive possession by Chris Chance's guys coming out of it. Dillingham speed, finger roll, yes. Now Cal went right at Josh Hubbard, who's the weakest defender. This Kentucky lineup, Auburn wants to be concerned primarily with Reed Shepard and with Rob Dillingham. Dillingham lays it in, and Kentucky's lead is six. And it's not easy to score on Auburn. On Yenso down with a rebound. Dillingham rises up for a three, and it's 11 to two, Kentucky. Rob Dillingham is a baller. What a great matchup. Dillingham trying to get by Johnson. Wagner had it stuffed. Dillingham will try again, and it's Auburn ball. Boy, how about that vertical contest at the rim? Tough to pitch shutout after shutout. Good help by Broom. Shepard finds Dillingham. Got a good defender on him. Got Jones in the air. Tried to bank it home, but he missed. Now that is putting some pressure on Kentucky. The Wildcats have gotten off to a great start in this one. They're confident. Dillingham turns the corner. Too strong off the glass. But it's out of bounds with his length around the basket. And he's having all kinds of problems with Broom. At both ends already. Dillingham pulls up. And here comes Donaldson for the Tiger. Dillingham hounded out on the perimeter. Keeps the dribble alive. Little stutter step. The force. And the rebound to Donaldson. Another good stand by the Tigers. Really good defense by Denver Jones. On Jalen Williams. That opens up the offensive glass. Dillingham with a full head of steam. It somehow goes, and the Kentucky lead is back to 10. Dillingham off a screen. Tough shot, and it goes. And Rob Dillingham is making some tough ones here at Auburn. Tough show no, for those just joining us. Three of three from the floor. He's got seven points. Mayetsu's right, got a couple of blocks, Jay. Kentucky got down 5 nothing, but then scored nine straight. A pretty good club penetration. Fierro threw it up and it ends up in the hands of Edwards who gets it to Dillingham who fires a three. That'll work. He is instant. Dillingham quick pass off the hands of Onyenso who wasn't really ready for it. But even if he caught it too far off the lane to do much with it. Dillingham nearly banked in a three in front of his own bench. It's Kentucky. Dillingham, boy, he threw it up with his left hand. He was looking for a foul. Looked like Morrell may have got away with a push. He did. That was a foul. That team. Like, that's what the expectations are. Calipari will tell you all the time. That's why we get criticized the way we do. Dillingham right in front of him knocks down a three. And there is Moss to this questionable the rest of the night. Dillingham turns the corner and then uses the ball fake. And the swan to finish. So many different ways to sad, but that's something that I don't think John Calipari will worry too much about. But the defensive intensity was a huge jump from what we've seen lately from Kentucky. I mean, they're giving up. Well, he usually keeps that dribble alive. So, yeah. They got four drivers on the floor. They can get to the rim and kick out. He can score. Can he? Oh, what a follow by Darryl. He's got six quick. And that's after Greg. Nice job on defense. He has not been able to turn the corner, though. This kid can get by anybody. Dillingham, scoop shot. Just drops in the hands. Of he does a lot of things for this team. But it's a deep shot, a dribble drive. Cuts well. Dillingham's going up on his own. Missed the shot, though. E.K. had a nice defensive hand in his face. Well, they were putting pressure on, but it wasn't a stoppage. Yeah, no fouls, nothing. He didn't want to save the one timeout. Dillingham lets his defender go by, and there it goes, his opening three. Don't let him get going. Uh oh, you are right, um, Raph. Tough catch. Dillingham, how about that defense? Good, just not giving up on the play whatsoever. Low there, throw that pass. This is where you need Shepard to take over, really. You get a good look here on the dribble drive, and why not Dillingham? That will help. That's why Shepard's back on the floor, though. Not Boy, Reeves tried to throw that one up high in the air for Onyenso. Kept alive. Dillingham's first shot is perfect.
And Tam Arc this time won't go. That rebound into the hands of Reeves. Back the other way to Shepard around the perimeter. The man is hot. <laughs> he is hot, hot, hot. Dillingham. I watch as Shepard runs a point position because of Wagner being out. And Shepard's job is to get the Wildcats in a flow. And Tomateros can't get that to go. He knocked home his first shot, which is good for Vanderbilt. He came in one for 15 from behind the arc over the last five, but there's just no stopping Dillingham right now. I don't know that anybody has the answer for that. Dillings. And with one, Lawrence fires away, hits the front of the rim, and here comes Dillingham. Shepard trailing, but he'll take it himself. So much of a upset but tonight when North Carolina loses in Chapel Hill again I think they're one of the premier teams also in the country good follow easy finish even sit that oh. sad day one good guy that I met in the late 80s in San Antonio he would come in Spurs game and this is before he was honestly before he had any hits went to see him and again getting inside the big boys he's got some room he's got a way to finish doesn't he I mean he knows how to finish plays and he makes a block He's a warrior. Fights, fights, fights. Misfires. Rebound to Bradshaw. Edwards puts a little feeling into it, doesn't he? Dillingham all the way to the rim. Speed, quickness, explosion. Conference game for him this year. I think the nice part of Taylor is the variety he has shown yeah. us. We know he can hit the outside that time, middle, mid range, but uh, Dillingham <laughs> doing what he does. His fourth. Their impressive offensive performance. Dillingham. That <laughs> every <laughs> night. Yeah, no doubt. By the way, that seven NBA All Stars. That's thirty percent of the players in the All Star game. There's Big Z with a finish, but thirty percent of those plays a game in conference play, and they're chasing that number right now in the first half. Rob Dillingham, instant offense off the bench for Kentucky. You cannot be lazy with your pickup. Paul and Adu. Here's Reeves. Find Shepard. Nothing doing. Extra pass. Dillingham. Got it. And money. Dillingham is best off the bounce, but when that ball gets. Well, Tennessee not afraid to be in a foot race so far in this game. Dillingham contested fadeaway two. This guy's a superstar. He had 20 in the Florida loss. Big time Shepard there to bail him out. Shot clock of five. He'll shoot it in a second. A hop and a skip and a three, and he got it again. And a big time so far tonight. It's Dillingham who's been shouldering the offensive load. Back to zero. Onyenso had it for a moment. Dillingham picks up his dribble. It's a seven-nothing Tennessee run. Tapped out. Dillingham working on James and long two. And Connect comes out with it. Well, really good. But Connect lost it. Here's Dillingham on Ziegler. And knocked out of bounds by Vescovy. Reverse snow. Saves out top to Dillingham. From John Calipari in Memphis, if I'm not mistaken. The other way around. Here's Dillingham for three. This kid is nuclear. He's got 17 already. That's... Here's Dillingham, step back over, connect. Dillingham in their game here rough a couple of weeks ago. Tom, just a soft defensive play by Kentucky that those plays will not be rewarded in this league. No sky hook for Rob Dillingham, he's got 19. Piero falling out of bounds, gets it to Shepard. And now Reeves able to finish. It's not easy to get Tennessee in a defensive rotation, but you got to do it. You got to find it down. He has been so good at that elbow pull up in this game. Dillingham lets it fly in and out. Save to connect. 
Tennessee has outscored Kentucky by 10 this half. Dillingham drills it. When you play drop coverage, you're going to get that shot off, and that's what Adu did. He dropped off a little bit, sure enough. Dillingham, off balance, used the left, but he can make hard shots at the rim. He's so crafty and so constant. Kansas, 40 to 24 advantage on the glass. Mm. That is a statement. Dillingham contested two, got it to go. It's still not. Rick Barnes will pull off another stunner if they can hold on for the last 90 seconds. Dillingham down the lane. Career night for Dillingham, but will it be off or not? 33 minutes in this game. His mental strength and physical strength just jumps out to me. Dillingham for three. Dead yet. He's got nope. 30. Dillingham working on Vescovy. Oh my goodness, that is a two. They will double check. Between that gentleman, he's gone for 20 plus in four of the past five games and very aggressive tonight. Got a new defender on him. How about that shot right into the game and making an impact is Dillingham. Well, good job by Hauk to jump out off that staggered screen to pick up Reeves. Dillingham uses that step and he goes to the left. That's an air ball. And it'll be Florida basketball. Look, Z in the eyes. He's 7-1 while Ivicic is 7-2. What a pass. Dillingham knocked it down. It was Mitchell who got the assist. Sure, uh, throw a shot fake in there. They'll be able to shot fake and drive. Dillingham tries again. The high archer, it goes down. So fascinating. After the turnover. <laughs> Now he, yeah, one thing Jay does, he can eat that ice cream quick as Dillingham launches way too strong. And it was still about 11 seconds on the shot clock when he... Now one thing Florida does not want to do is over help. Out with a run out pass. And ridden by Agnenso. And Lachman threw that pass from his chest instead of getting it up high. Agnenso has it. Throws it down. Well, Josh Season only shoots 22% from there. I'm not sure that's the shot Todd Golden wanted, but he was open. Dillingham pulls up, and he was looking for the foul. Didn't get it. He'll try again, and the second time, he's an All-American. There's never... Well, Dillingham's got Condon on him. He can take him. He does, and he knocks it down. Good call. Condon about faces to the other end. Yeah, that's good recognition. Thing, Marty, that John Calipari talked about in practice with the Duke Fierro yesterday was drive the ball and create threes for your teammates, and that's exactly what he's done in this game. Didn't have to go against Onyenso as often. Dillingham, the take, the floater. Good touch from Rob Dillingham. Anytime Dillingham goes to his right, he's... A question for Florida. They have had a tough time finishing games. Can they finish on the road wow. in this environment? Dillingham with a great fake. He looked like he was going to go underneath the rim. And it... Reeves. Dillingham, three. Too strong on Yenso there. Got it! What a... All of a sudden, Rupp has gotten a lot quieter. Dillingham, floater, that's good. I wonder if he's going to take it personally that he couldn't knock that free throw down and due to the extra period. Dillingham is back in. He goes one-on-one, -on -one, lays it up. No good. Rebound, Gators. A good defense to make Dillingham finish. Top 10 opponent on the road. The miss there. Mitchell has it. Here's Dillingham. He will pull up. That's off. And a rebound. The Gators, and it will stay with Florida. Lucky basketball. Good matchup between the two freshman guards, Blue Kane, Guard, and Shepard. Good block by Chiwa. Chiwa coming out of nowhere with that rejection. Shepard with 10 on the shot clock. Step up his game tonight. He said, Chiwa, we've got to have him play big against this Kentucky front line. And it's tough because most Kentucky guys play outside, even their bigs do. Dillingham. Dillingham. Just a scoring. Those were the big three, but that that class was James Worthy. And, I mean, it, the list goes Just on. Doc and, or Dale Ellison. 
I'm trying to think Kentucky if I go back. It was hurt Ford through which one is uncomfortable about <laughs> the scout and how he was playing underneath out of bounds. I'm just saying that's how it goes. Dillingham has it rim off. So anyway, when I was in high school, Shepard rips it over to Reeves. Reeves got to get a shot. Back to Shepard. Dillingham at the buzzer. Back iron and a rebound to Georgia. Here come the dogs. Thomason back to 2015. Well, I, I am pretty confident that Mike White is going to get him back there sooner rather than later. That pops out for Dillingham. The final 30 seconds of this game. Up Dillingham to Mitchell. What an elite passer Mitchell is. Had a layup, kicked it out for a three. Got it. Pretty good decision by Mitchell. You're right, though. He turned down what looked like a pretty ball guard. If you have it, man, you can get some good looks. 26 in the country, fourth in major conference basketball. He takes 33% of the shots when he's on the floor. Bradshaw fouled after the offensive rebound. Perry, he knows he's got a squad that can make major, major noise in March. Dillingham off wow. the window. So good are those Kentucky guards at the floater game. It's all of them. It's offensive board up oh, and lost it. Cats with a chance to push. Dillingham to Edwards. Yeah. Dillingham knew it wasn't the perfect shot, but he also knew Edwards was there to Warrior, but man, he's one of the sweetest kids in this league. Just a joy to visit with at all times. Loves the game like a guard. Can't allow that. Can't great, not. Great screen though by Onyenso. Yeah, but Tom, you gotta you gotta get under it community. Shooting 56%. They've already made five threes. And they've gotten the better of Mississippi State's great defense. Bradshaw fouled on the jam. Jeffries down right now. A beautiful first half for Kentucky. One careless miscue right there. Dillingham for three. Spread. Eight seconds left. Shepard behind Bradshaw. Here's Dillingham. It's going up and it got rejected. Two tenths of a second remaining. It will stay with the. Uh, she takes it personal when someone wins the title other than her. Her squad right now. Their average margin of victory for South Carolina, right at 40 points. 40 points. Dillingham. I think he had three turnovers in the first three minutes to start the second period. And they've been so good and so clean with the ball for as fast as they play on the year. Dillingham bailed out with the only went off the charts with his energy. Big time country music fan is Sean Jones. No jelly roll. Here's Dillingham. Yeah, he, he's, he's got everything in his playlist. And it was it's a different game if he's hitting tonight. Mitchell back out Dillingham. <laughs> and Zabonimir Ivisic, the freshman from Croatia, he's still waiting to hear from the NCAA if and when he might be granted eligibility. One thing Kentucky cannot do in this game is be a... And they had it briefly, but turn it over. Shepard finds Dillingham. Steps through, and that's a goaltending call on Washington. Rob Dillingham. Backs up Wade Taylor. Sometimes will play with him. Doesn't shoot it, but does everything else. Dillingham, no. I'm not sure some of these jump shots are exactly... Radford, good defense by Edwards. Nice look ahead by Shepard. Dillingham up and in. That's the transition that you're so afraid of. And the Dillingham almost lost it to Obasiki. Now Dillingham for three. And all kinds of advantage. What a reverse by Tyrese Radford. Look at the speed. Dillingham, no. Onyenso keeps it alive. What a re- you mentioned the Florida game. Kentucky's a resilient team, even though they're young. There's not much panic in this group. What a block. Solomon Washington with a reject. There's the double team with the ball screen. You can't allow anybody to step through. Wagner stepped through it. Good cut by Dillingham, and this game is tied again. Boy, with allowing Wagner to... Just took Wagner out to put Dillingham in. Reeves was out before the timeout and stays on the bench. Dillingham right into the action and he knocks down a three. And that's why he was put one. And Wade Taylor with the immediate answer. 
Nice look inside, but Mitchell surrounded. Dillingham again. Oh, boy. Boy, what a smart play by Trey Mitchell. The line has really hurt Texas A&M. Dillingham oh. knocks down another one. Here comes Dillingham. Five seconds. The three. No. Taylor had it. It's loose. Holding out on Yensu so he couldn't come over and block the shot. Dillingham won't go. And Levesque down with the rebound for AM. Dillingham for three. He got hit. I thought he got hit. Taylor, the force, won't go. Now Kentucky's got it, and here's Dillingham. Oh, and a block. What a play by Solomon Washington. Boy, he timed it. Transferred in from Seton Hall. He was excellent against Michigan. Had a double-double in that one, over 20 points, 11 rebounds. Soft touch off the glass, but it won't go for Rob Dillingham. Good decision to get his offense and explosiveness back in the game. Now here's the switch. Samuel on Dillingham. Dillingham, a tough guy to stay in front of, and he'll score over Samuel. He's such a, an explosive. Well, I'll tell you what you wouldn't have thought would happen in this game. Florida's got six threes, Kentucky only one. Kentucky coming into the game, the much better three-point shooting. Hide a little bit more and attack the rim. They've got to hang some fouls on Kentucky at some point. Yeah, Kentucky's only committed three, Florida seven. Down with the rebound, Pullen. That shot was on the play on on this stage and, and it works the other way too. the guys who transfer up to the the high majors They're the ones who get more of the attention Nice shot there by Dillingham, but there are other guys who may run out plus six as Bradshaw rips it down and Pullen is shaken up behind the play Clayton is down as well. It's five on three right now Clayton never got back in the play Bradshaw, the five-man for Kentucky. Dillingham over Hanlock to no. And down with the rebound is Condon. It's a senior-laden team in Illinois State, and that's what they're going to have to continue to work on, especially on the defensive end. They've got eight seniors in their nine, ten-man rotate. Hits the bench. Here's Dillingham, prolific freshman scorer, high off the glass, left a little short. Burford down with the board. Pushing down with the board. Burford's having problem with a lot of the length that Kentucky has. They're really long on this perimeter. Dillingham hoists it. Foster down with the board. If you're a team like Illinois Stout, leave. It's close range for a moment. Shepard bails him out to the corner. Dillingham. Yes. There you go. Said and try to get to the rim. Banks connects or knock them down. So Dalton <laughs> Banks it, you know, in the second half they've hit three triples, but Kentucky just is relentless, keeps coming at you and Dillingham. Double A tournament. Burford into double figures now for a seventh straight game. Illinois State in normal Illinois. That the uh, Dillingham does the abnormal. Defending rebound Ooh. coming down the stretch. Yeah, no doubt. We've been talking about that today, kind of where they have been ranked and. You know, when you look at this Kentucky Wildcat team, obviously they're up 20-plus points today. Second half. Kentucky a couple minutes away from improving to 10-2. and two. Yeah. Really sound basketball throughout the entire night. Point does have one more non-conference game. We got the extra week this year, uh -oh. so they play Gonzaga in February. Here comes Dillingham. Throwdown! That one is down for Poindexter. Kentucky scored 118 earlier this year against Marshall. Dillingham back into the paint, tapped in on Yenso. That's pure. So that 11 to shoot. Clark rubbing through the Mitchell screen, stuck with it in traffic. Dillingham a three. White the backside rebound, and now we've got in that number. Dillingham crosses over James, spins, and scores. That's what I'm talking about. That was a risky move with the ball, a fast, risky move. When you're the underdog, you pound that thing inside like Louisville has so far. 
to Huntley Hatfield. Dillingham, three spins out. Really good at that short corner, 12 foot, making plays out of it, knocking down jump shots. Dillingham couldn't finish. Terrific move. Here's Clark. Couldn't finish it, and it is the, as Will Chamberlain used to call it, it's in the office tonight down low. Here goes Dillingham wow. off the window. I wow. talked about the riskiness that he plays with. That was a risky shot. Long time since this Louisville program has struck fear into anybody. Shepard inside. Here's Dillingham. Oh, my. Yeah, his versatility. <laughs> he just inverts your offense. I think Glenn hit the deck. Here come the Cats. Spot up for Dillingham. Look out. Look out. Four in a row. For the There's Williams, a little pull up that rattles out. Jimmy, you gave me a stat earlier. Oh, wait a second. Now you got to pause when Dillingham's in transition. Trey White out of there. Talking about a 7 1 kid and a 6 8 senior and trainer that will make a difference if they get back. Dillingham. Bam. Whoa, boy. He's got some special juice about him now. Dillingham does. Only his second one of the year. There's that ice cell at the foul line. The elbow, Dillingham. Oh, he knocks it down. I love this kid. Two-pointer just inside the three-point line. Straight up with it. Nope. We won't go for Dillingham. Just the way Shepard. Yesterday, the shoot-around. But came in on his own, as Jenny told you. Off the baseline, air ball. Kelly Bradshaw. Dillingham well, not on top, pass. and that one won't go. Good hustle. Got it back. Three-pointer. Bradshaw <laughs> keeps it alive. Really? Really? Block. Wow. <laughs> Dillingham straight up for three. It rims out. Davis. In a good spot for the rebound. Is he Shepard on one something? Up on the play. Step up for free. Second one, he's rattled out of there. Well, is he good? That, that, there's Withers doing the same thing. Davis trying to get. Boy, such a good driver. Dillingham, corner three. Got it. And shooter. <laughs> he is tough. Mitchell always looking for the switch. Big on the little. He's got what he wants, but it's too deep. Dillingham's going up. You can just see it coming. Tipped by who? Guess who? Yeah, why not? Yep. Davis trying to cross court it. Wagner picks it off. Got a man in front. He can jump. Oh, he lost control. Shepard calmly slows it down. Wagner will try a triple. The switch off with Withers on Wagner. That's smart. Good communication. Dillingham in the paint. Fade away. Got it. This kid is tough. He can drive. Reeves has to pick up his dribble on the baseline. And Trimble on Mitchell. They don't get it to him. Get, he should get to the glass. Whoa, Dillingham way outside. Missed that shot. Withers is out in front. Nobody sees him. Dillingham almost lost his balance. Working against Ryan. He'll take it to the rack. Bradshaw the follow. Good hustle. Dillingham's got a back. He's got the mismatch if they want it. Lillingham loves to go. Oh, reverse <laughs> off the window. How about that? That head and shoulder. Fake is always coming for the right hook. Underneath. Withers misses. Shepard another rebound Look in the outlet hand. to Dillingham. And the finish on the other end. The kid sees everything. What a feel. What a pass by oh. Shepard. Withers pretty good defensively, too. He really got beat the last time. Dillingham, the crossover. And he scored. <laughs> a lot of folks have uh, highlighted the great guard play on this roster. Right. However, right. you just mentioned it. You guys had some a, a great roster that year. Of course, uh, the pandemic. His big fella is getting healthy. Um, Trey's doing a good job. He's got a lot of different talent on this team that can do a lot of different things. Big time shot by Rob right there. But, you know, Rob, it's like he has three, four guards. I'm telling you, as a guard, you got to love bigs that oh, are goodness. able to find you. <laughs> love every bit of it. Let's see if Dillingham can go back to work. This is a long two. 
Spinoza down with the board. Oh, the, yeah, Dillingham takes it away. Oh, nice. Rises and lays it in. Nice work. He's nice. Now, did you have time to interact with some of the, the players as well? The Not and the lineage of great guards right. that play there, go on to the next level, not just reach the next level, but succeed at the next level. I mean, y you know about the history. What's the difference when you are... They show love, they show support, and then when you get to the NBA, they do the same as well. Like, it's a brotherhood. It's a really nice scenario. It's a nice lead feed. Wow! That is a vicious rejection at the rim by Spinoso. So he's having on the defense going inside, then the perimeter will open up. Last week, ball movement limited. There's Dillingham, 4-3. And that is beforehand when Kentucky torched previously eighth-ranked Miami inside Rupp Arena. So Kentucky has got that big win against Miami. Pretty good. Dillingham with eight, fires, left it short. There's Sam Brown. With his eyes up, it's on the attack, puts it up with the left. Mitchell's got it. Shepard ahead to Dillingham. Into the paint, no. They've got Dillingham's number. And point game. Dillingham spins the fall away, left it short. So Penn has a chance to maybe take a lead with a three. 23 class, he has been brilliant. At times this year, defensively, offensively, starts the break. Showtime! Dillingham throws it down. Reed started a win. A little tougher than it looked. And the late goings of that first half, Dillingham now gives Kentucky a seven point lead. Now Dillingham took some early quick shots in the percent from the floor, Kentucky that is. But Kentucky did a nice job on the glass. That was a focus for John Calaport Perry. Oh, okay, a little better than 50%. Dillingham. Hey, Mark. Yeah, that's uh, and the changes we just saw, like a hockey line change to K.O. <laughs> Siddle. The head coach has been doing that for a while. That's tipped a couple of times. You got Rob Dillingham now in the game. Jay Jenkins in the game. This shot rolls off. Shepard, quick outlet for Dillingham. He's going to pull up with a three, and that comes in and out. Had a number of those shots being at next Saturday, one week from today, here on SEC Network. Dillingham with the shot clock winding down. Did not draw iron, and it's out of bounds to UNCW. Blinks off the back rim, and a Bradshaw rebound. Quickly ahead, Dillingham. He's going to try to race right past Jenkins and finish the shot. Here's White. Fierro. Three, Dillingham. Kentucky can't buy a shot right. I guess that qualified as a good look for UNCW today, even though he was five or six steps behind the arc. And there they beat him down the floor in the lane by Dillingham. Pretty basketball. Half there to give the Seahawks a three-point lead. Dillingham off balance. That's too quick. He didn't give the defense a chance to break down at all. It is a three possession game with just over a half minute to go. Dillingham trying to get to the rim quickly. Loose underneath. Batted around Edwards and eventually a foul. No, no. Mitchell, nice save. Well, Kentucky has defended really well on the, some of the pick and roll action. Dillingham got a good shot. Oh, oh and a tip by Edwards. He came out of nowhere. From three, made one. Booga Poplar leading all scores with 11 for Miami. Dillingham, tough shot in traffic. Nothing but air on that one. Well, George is a good shooter. Because he's got to translate both he and... Nwoko have to translate, and there's Dillingham. He can get hot in a hurry. And that was a point of emphasis for Miami. Keep the Cats out of transition. They haven't been able to do it. Boy, everything is falling right. Dillingham with a leader. He scoops it in. <laughs> Next time. Yeah, he's got to work on his game. He's still just a freshman. Dillingham drives it off the window, but that won't fall. Preparation and watching both of these teams and practices and shoot arounds indicated this had a really good chance to be a close game, but not the way the Wildcats are just burying 
Miami right now. Got the horn set. Dillingham scoops it up and in. As he sliced inside. What a great play by Dillingham. As Kentucky mops up here, one of the things they want to uh, Miami's going to go after the ball, so shot fakes and ball fakes will be impressive. Another three goes down here by Ron Dillingham. Who is Kobe, he said he might be the most impactful transfer in the country, not just because of what he does on the hardwood, but the way he leads this group of freshmen. He's played that way tonight. You know, the leadership, the passing, unselfish. That's on 35 made field goals, only eight turnovers. As a team, they have a three to one assist turnover ratio. Dillingham with a quick step. Can't finish that. And John Calipari not. And Dillingham, the freshman, will set it up. Now he'll fire it. But they have so many players that can dribble past it. Dillingham inside the three, can't connect. Watson with a rebound. So Miami about to aim and Dillingham has the rebound. Dillingham with the hezzy and the finish with the right. How nice is it when you can have Dillingham get that to the court? I mean, every time they miss a shot inside, they're getting a second chance at it. And one of the keys for St. Joe's was transition defense. Well, pretty easy to have transition defense when there are few transition opportunities. St. Joe's did not play well in the loss Friday. Here's a lob. Dillingham with the great hands in the finish. One of the things it got in St. Joe's way Friday night in the loss. Running Reynolds off, getting offense through Reynolds, but with him on the bench right now, it's going to take guys like Greer and Brown to step up. Dillingham is not shy. Freshman out of Hickory North. But a good job by St. Joe's not going after that one to get back in transition. Reeves out to Dillingham. Got it. Well, he's playing with a lot of confidence, isn't he? Dillingham, quick move. It's almost a no-look shot. It's divisional. You'd have those teams in the West right. uh, that would just play these horrible out-of-conference schedules, and, and then they finally got religion because they brought in some people who knew. And they put one-on-one -on, -one on Stonehill against that zone. Here's Mitchell out to Dillingham. Dillingham fresh off the bench, fires away. If Dillingham were a, here's his touch. Trying to reach it inside, it's knocked away. Dillingham out front. Oh, the follow is tipped away. St. Joe's is gonna come out with a three on one. Brown with. Billy Lang is all the way to mid court. Trying to get his defenders in the right spot. Dillingham for two. Took a hop and went in. 140 to play. On attempts and they're shooting 72%. It's amazing. Dillingham with a steal and here he goes. Woo, did you see that? Great job of Dillingham to protect the ball. He saw the sky. He's settled into the offense now, gets this zone. Dillingham misses the jumper. Rebound controlled. Dillingham down the left side, off the window and in. Hello. Nice. Little body control by Dillingham that time. Switched hands mid air 20 points on going into the getting ready to be halftime. They can't they can't stop playing the way they're playing. They've got to play with continued energy. The bank is open late on a Friday. Does it count as a bank if it hit four from the three? Let him go five of five. The arrow to re to uh, Shepard. Here's Dillingham. Pretty little setback. That's the other part of this Kentucky offense that you don't want to rely on. You get the easy shots, all of a sudden the other shots start to fall because you start to build your confidence because the basket's going or the ball's going in. Dillingham's got a lot of confidence, but that one won't fall. There's Dillingham along the baseline. Wagner to Shepard. Dillingham. Yes, and a foul. Unself Five remaining. Nice block in the lane. I think Shepard got a piece of that one. Feeds it ahead to Dillingham to the basket. Count it and one. Another assist for Shepard. Block shot down. I'm not sure that's official. But... I think we can call him the player of the game at this point. Here's Dillingham. Mitchell the assist. Dillingham with another three. Seven. 
Sandwiches can be good. Yes. And apparently very motivational. Dillingham again. No good. Mitchell had the rebound stripped away. En los primeros sitios y demás. Falla toda velocidad. Acá viene Kentucky. El tiro. Era un largo doble porque estaba pisando la línea. Buen rebote ofensivo. Segunda oportunidad. Buena finta. Falló al lado del aro, te diría. Ahora es un pasaje de prolijo, pero cuando Kentucky corre. ¡Hay espacios! Uh. A toda velocidad. Kansas quiere revertir lo ocurrido por Kentucky. Puede que picara la bola tres veces en el aro, pero yo creo que Kansas le va a dar ese tiro frecuentemente si es necesario. Quiero el, el, el que intentaba el triple correctamente y ahora los puntos vienen por. Eh, Estás ansioso, energéticos, pero también tenés que tener disciplina. Elevando sus pies cuando no es necesario, Kansas le saca bastantes faltas hasta el momento. Punto de énfasis de Calipari. 9-0 fue el rally para el equipo de Kansas al inicio del partido. Dillingham, qué bonito triple, súmele tres más a Kentucky que se queda al interior. Ahí está Mitchell, Mitchell con el giro rápido, le sale Dickinson a la marca, pasa al extremo. Afuera y adentro, tres más. Y toma la ventaja por primero caso. En esa posición, rápido el pase antes de que puedan colapsar los otros defensores. Ocho puntos, ocho rebotes para él. Y Dillingham. Uh, wow. wow. Tercer triple. Cinco minutos por jugarse en la primera mitad. Se levanta y otra vez con el triple. Está, está en un incendio tremendo Dillingham. Yo, es de grande es más difícil aprender. Yo aprendí de chiquito, entonces la base te queda, pero, pero es lindo. La verdad que es lindo, estás en verde, disfrutas del día, pero es largo. Y para la familia no. Igual y no me da tiempo por la nieve que tengo que limpiar o las hojas, entonces. Muy bien. Sale el equipo de Kentucky, 4 contra 2, a ver si lo aprovecha. Y claro que sí lo va a aprovechar. Mirá el volumen de triples, ¿no? 24 sí. contra 12. Tirando para 45%. 41%. Ajá. Color. Otra productora. Todos queremos base, eh, básquetbol gratis. A ver, desde el costado. Uh, no. no. Tiro que fue puro aire. Mira, y lo saca. Eh. Inmediatamente se dio vuelta. Porque ese tiro no tiene excusa. Eh. Adu, back for Ziegler. Adu lost that ball. Connect. In and out. It was halfway down. Oh, they dodged one there. They did. Edwards with a late closeout against them. Watch by Edwards. He's going to shoot it really deep. I don't know. Off the back of the iron. That's not a good one. Break opportunity. Dillingham slows it down. Shepard gets into it quickly here. The bounce. Adu extra. James, the senior. Missed it from three-point territory. And how about the blockout by Dillingham on Maybach there. Excuse me, Mayshack. The ISO at the top of Tremont Mark. This is their offensive philosophy. Mark over Shepard. Rebound. Off to Kentucky, Rob Dillingham. Ahead on the run and the lead. To play in regulation. Brazil can pop. Brazil can pop for a three. Left hand off the window is no good. Dillingham the rebound and he runs with it himself and he is fouled by battle. Barrow will launch a three. Off the mark, Gillingham, great fight. Bodies are on the floor, but official Mississippi State got a new career high, 26 for Reed Shepard. He blocked, blocked that shot. shot. And a foul by Tolu Smith. Reed Shepard. Rebound, Williams for three. Oh! Frenetic action here at Auburn. Wagner off the glass on top of you here at Neville Arena. Broom. It's not a good shot. And it's not that he can't make it, but that's off one pass without making the Kentucky defense even. A pretty good close out there by Trey Mitchell to take away the three from Breakfield. Murray with a ball fake. He got Shepard in the air. He missed to the left. Very and sharp into the game at seven foot five inches tall. And his teammates. Difficult shot, Shepard with the defense, and here comes Kentucky. Dillingham, the block shot record has been kept since 1970. And Ole Miss has shot themselves out of this thing. They cannot make a basket here. 
to shrink. Not a degree below, and everybody's right there. There's the other team's right there, but, man, those guys play hard. Well, what Pearl gets out of his team, and they fire this thing out here to Reeves. Son Yenso is looking for just and watching the kick out. He was a little bit ill yesterday. That three-pointer almost went at the buzzer. But they're putting Watson in the post now. And had a smaller guy on him as a great... Hickman had it locked. Kentucky's got a man out in front. It's Reeves. The lob and the finish by Fierro. That top guy, and they'll make their point guard turn the corner, try to make a play. Tomateros can't get that to go. He knocked home his first shot, which is good for Vanderbilt. He came in one for 15 from behind the arc. A little special every yeah. night when you're in SEC play, and that's tough to do. Lubin stepped back, misses everything. Dillingham off to Reeves. Shot clock at three. Kick it back out to Williams. And with one, Lawrence fires away, hits the front of the rim, and here comes Dillingham. Shepard trailing, but he'll take it himself. Here's Vescovy, the lefty kicks it out. His classmate James can't knock it down. Dillingham into the cheerleaders for the save. Shepard. Baseline jumper, no good from Zion Pullen. Dillingham fires it up court. Shepard's pass was deflected. That's a turnover. Right. Samuel goes too strong with that left. He was bothered by Onyenso. Yeah, had to go around Onyenso and put it. They have an alley oop to hand locked in, and he went volleyball, just kind of deflected it off the window he will get fouled and he'll shoot he did a terrific job on Onyenso to box him out Samuel will launch again that one is too strong again I can't imagine that's the shot that Florida wants oh and a steal here popped up in the air Ziegler's trying to track it down it gets knocked over to telling his jumper Shepard shooting practice bottom he knows how to drill it Takes advantage of season finale for both of these teams. Dillingham slips a bit. Can go left. Beautiful. Feed it. Shepard. Unbelievable. And Dillingham on the money with the delivery, too. The Middy Reeves gives it up. Ivisic around the handle. Dillingham extra. Shepard. And these young freshmen right here, the awareness. Three pointer by Davenport. That's the shooter. Jeremiah Davenport's the shooter. Bradshaw's going to try a triple. Got it! Woo! Shepard decides to do, I think he's going to start being a playmaker here. And one for Innocent. Killing him with a great hit is on Reed Shepard. 20 lead changes in our game. Here's that matchup. Dillingham. A lot of enemy and a score. Of three points. Cal likes to use Dillingham in these situations. Dillingham, the lob to the big fella. Z buried it. They can stop. This is an area where they've wanted to improve, and their defense is getting it done for them down the stretch. Dillingham, the lob underneath the big Z. Big. I think Cal sees the same thing. Let, let Dillingham have a couple of minutes here. Oh, alley yeah. to Fierro. Matthews never saw it coming. All triggered, though, by the speed of Dillingham. Dillingham thinks about it. There's that. Oh, great look to Aaron Bradshaw. The speed of Dillingham, though, sets the entire thing up. Johnson almost lost it. Now he did. He can't show the ball like that. And Reeves in transition with a three. The lead grows for the Wildcats. And Reeves baseline cut off somehow found Dillingham gets it back and hits it boy in a broken play Auburn did a good job running and he's switching those exchanges and boy Jalen Williams had that ball going to the basket and Kentucky knocked it away Reeves scoops it up and in not an up and under but he reversed it up and in on the feed Here are seven footers on the blocks and here comes on Yenso with a high screen and roll and it up he didn't even set the screen. That was just a ghost. 
came out like he was most by a Kentucky player in a single game all time. Maryland's Noel, his number is in jeopardy. Is Shepard feathery three? They set up Reeves, that's too easy. Antonio Reeves just can't give up the middle. Drink this lead. Well, there's been nothing available at the rim because of the shot block presence. Plenty available at the rim that time is Dillingham and Onyenso connect. Yeah, just too easy to get a piece of the less Kentucky can get out in transition, and that's where Kentucky really scores. Big Z outside buries it. How about his time with Georgia, by the way? Decimates the defense. It's going. Oh, I thought it was going up. Instead, it's the arrow. And he drives it. He dragged a couple people, though. He's so worried about. Nice cut. Up and under. And in. Got to give Rob Dillingham credit. Rob Dillingham. That point guard explode and try to create for teammates. Dillingham already with nine points gets it to the corner and there's Reeves knocking that three home and Reeves up the there. gets it off to Bradshaw Dillingham wants a little screen beautiful. to the back to Bradshaw oh is that classic teamwork beautiful basketball play Lubin step back misses everything Dillingham off to Reeves he knew that was good. The moment has left his hands. Reeves in double figures. Going on the offensive end. It is already a 17-point Kentucky advantage. Make it 20. Reeves and Dillingham are putting on. Back the other way. West couldn't get it to go. You gotta find, gotta find ways to finish when you have opportunities, because then you get this on the other end. Went to try to make some special block on Mignon again. Those two guys jawing a little bit. Nice pass. Wow, what a cut. Dillingham finds Edwards for the throwdown. At least Carter Lang probably you know, took a lot more minutes. He's gotten a lot more minutes this season than maybe they thought. 13 minutes of ball game. Good pass. Easy bucket. Shepard says fine. Torres couldn't. Cleanly catch that ball up ahead. It comes Dillingham alley oop and another one for Jordan Burks Efficiency according to Ken Palm Tennessee second of the country in defensive efficiency Shepard gets it. That's his second bucket by the way of note DJ Wagner the starting point guard for they've given up 82 points a game in SEC play Edwards from the elbow yeah, he's been good off that curl action now. Now Jonas Adu back on the floor. Here's Reeves. This is a physical Tennessee defense. Somehow Reeves gets three. He is so good as a finisher. This was a little early in the shot clock, but I trust him at the elbow. Shepard for three. Yeah. Got it! You can just feel it. Capable of knocking down threes with Mitchell, Dillingham, Reeves, and Shepard. Got the switch now. Samuel on Dillingham. Shepard wow. is the guy in the corner. What a bullet pass to from Dillingham. Junior to stay with Rob Dillingham coming off that screening action on the right side. Yeah, they have two seven footers on the floor now. Reeves open for a three, and that's been money all year. That's just beautiful. The base. Richard, tough baseline follow away. That's no good. And here comes Dillingham two on one. And an easy one for Reeves. Good play by Dillingham. He exploded. Well, Richard said he got him. Floater from Shepard goes. He's got an arsenal of offensive moves. And that was all started. Dillingham. To Big Z again. No hesitation. My goodness. What in the world? Threatening to give me a lower grade <laughs> if it wasn't for better attendance, but that's a whole other story. Well, that's a good thing we were in class. See, we didn't have any online stuff. <laughs> Dillingham falling to the floor. Dillingham. And now Wagner with the draw. 
Man, he is so good with either paw getting down here. Headless for the first three in conference play. Yep. So, Tom, that was a deflated team on Saturday night after their loss at Florida. And for Must to get his team right and take down a and in that's what Bradshaw can do, man. You, you can't double off of him and try to... Dillingham feeds Bradshaw to pick and roll. Pretty good contact by Bradshaw, and that's where he's starting to grow a little bit. From the mid-range, he's really struggling with a shot tonight. One for eight in his first trip to Rupp Arena. Here's Reeves. Baseline floor. Yeah, he's, he's Hubbard is struggling with his shot, and he's struggling to stay in front of the ball. Boy, Taylor feeling it. Comes up empty there. Now the Cats are in transition. Dillingham tough to catch. And he finds on Yenso for the slam that ties it. That's the problem with a batter question. Texas A&M blitzing a ball screen out top. Edwards with the corner three, the assist to Dillingham. He's starting to play now. Had Thrim even through contact to finish that play. But Kentucky, of their 20 field goals, they've got 14 assists, only three turnovers. So Make big it 15 time. assists now. Beautiful feed from Dillingham to Onienzo. The energetic minutes in this one. Reeves this time putting it on the deck. Soft wow. touch off the glass. Right over Levesque. Samuel No, loose ball down to Dillingham. And he's got an extra gear when he gets going. Florida does well to get back in transition, but they didn't get to Shepard beyond the arc. One of the best to ever do it in college basketball is trying to show these guys. Uh, and you're right, 11, 12 games through. They have been able to outscore teams. Nice runner in the lane. And so Reeves off the line. It was Lewis who let it go. Dillingham, number zero in the Ooh, white. Always nice. a blur. How about Wagner, a little crossover special. Yo-yo action. Saturday, Kentucky opens up against Florida. Wildcats on the move again. Off to a fine start Good offensively. Pass. Edwards cutting the baseline and throws it down. He does that. Puts it up. Dillingham down at the board. They are a blur in transition. Wagner sets and fires. Whoa. Gracious. And connects. Coach Cal would not like that. Rob Dillingham did not get on the floor. Illinois State did. Whoop! On Yenso running the floor. Big fella. State trying to hang tough here. Kentucky on the move again. Dillingham underneath. Burks got one man flying. Scores it. Yeah, we haven't mentioned it, but a dude, the arrow. Here from Brooklyn. Good pass. Whoop! On Yenso. Sends it back. Dillingham. Burks. Throwdown. Some good ones himself. Yes, he has. Dillingham. Right back for Edwards. Three ball. That's really good action, man. Kentucky comes out that timeout. On Yenso. On the floor now for the Wildcats. Not a high percentage of layups made by Louisville in this game because of the length of Kentucky. That trail threat shot of Mitchell. Shepard on the floor now. Choreographer really gets them going, too. Here's Bradshaw outside. Got it. So now Baycott has the dilemma. Can I come out and play him? Well, a sickle five man has been critical to Penn's success today. A little give and go. Bradshaw off the window. When Kentucky gets multiple passes in a possession. Arms there, Justin Edwards keeps it alive. Yeah, Kentucky right now a little loose with the basketball here today, but they play up and down, and that's exciting basketball. As you see that shot vector by Trey Mitchell. Not only assisting it, but they're making good decisions and have high basketball IQ. Dillingham throws it underneath. And a first collegiate hoop from Aaron Bradshaw. Dillingham leads in, got in a bad spot, somehow found Shepard who drains a three. Size five in Norchad O'Meara when he gets back in the ballgame. O'Meara's only 6-5. Beat Shepard lines it up and knocks it down from three-point land. He is now 50. He is one strong guy out there. From Nicaragua is a baseball player and a really good one. Could really throw it. Here's Shepard. Oh, wide open. That's like a layup for him. He's been the influence of Poplar and Norchad O'Meara. And that's about it. Good fake. Back for Shepard straight on. 
Boy, just that a good job by Trey Mitchell. Just making North Shadowmere stand between him and the basket, making him take that tough two. Reeves baseline. Yes. Nifty move for two. And how a Joseph from the corner. No. Kentucky boards. Up ahead, Edwards. Oh, my. The Cats are flying high. Boy, Dave, you Rolling Burks and a foul two. Kentucky can do no wrong. Well, it's just really smart basketball. Or, excuse me, green orange scrimmage in Miami at 25 and 13 in 40 minutes. Mitchell, man, everything falling for the Cats. Oh. Dillingham will wait here under five minutes to go. Now he'll drive Mitchell two more. 91 for Kentucky. Good pass. And the slam by Burks. Middle of the floor, and that's nine assists now. Cross. Kick. Dillingham. Shot clock winding down. Nine away from Minshak. Turnover, Kentucky. And that is his game. Pressure. Dillingham, and that ball is tipped and stolen. Meshack feeds, Ziegler will get the block, it's Shepard. Layup. Great hands by Davenport to recover. Oh, that's it. This is going to be a technical on Devo Davis. Z as we come back. Houston, by the way, up pretty comfortably. Dillingham, alley-oop, and a little too high. And that's going to be a foul on Adu Thierro. Thierro will launch a three. Off the mark. Gillingham, great fight. Bodies are on the floor. But official says out of back. Uh, 260, 265. It just becomes a chucking match on the inside. He's going to win. Yeah, tough pass to control. Oh, boy. Shepard went right underneath Matthews. Do it. It's going to be a challenge without Trey Mitchell available tonight. This team has the ability to be a much better defensive team than it has shown. And can you imagine if they get better? That's what Auburn wants to do, Dan. They want to create chaotic situations where they operate. Baker Mazzara. And Holloway runs it down. He gets rid of it and gets it back. The presence of Dylan Cardwell. Dillingham just trying to run right. He's trying to set a screen, and then he just runs right through Chad Baker Mazzara. From the floor, he's got seven points. Ryan has got a couple of blocks, Jay. Kentucky got down 5 nothing, but then scored nine straight. A pretty good close out there by Trey Mitchell to take away the three from Breakfield. Murray with a ball fake. He got Shepard in the air. He missed to the left. Very is... sharp into the game at seven foot five inches tall. And Dillingham for the second time loses the basketball. It's either going to be a lob to the rim or a drop off for a dunk. Reeves and Shepard on the bench for Kentucky. The roll and another turnover. And right away, Calipari goes back to Shepard. Where they get away with leaving their feet, but more than most teams. You know that? Oh, Dillingham threw it away. There has not been a lot of turnovers, but there's one that is not going to make. Well, Taylor's having a really nice night. This away by Justin Edwards. Out front, Dillingham. The lob. And Bradshaw couldn't find it. Oh, that was a very soft finish by Adu. It wasn't even a shot. Soft, selfish. I think John Calipari wants it to be, but they can really improve as they go down the stretch, and they're going to have to. Turnover by Dillingham. In the conference, we've seen some really strong defensive performances from teams like South. He's another three. And Walter Clayton Jr., that's his 46-3 on the season. And Rob Dillingham just taking it into trouble and not protecting it. But knocked away by and make a move inside and then a turnover into the hands of Dillingham 
Dillingham tries to sneak it through, can't do it. The steal by Abdur Rahim. Bulldog off his ankle or foot very well. Teardrop hits the front iron for Thomason. And now Kentucky a little sloppy, another turnover. Melendez ahead of the pack. Melendez. Dillingham. Turns it over. Georgia numbers finish like it. I and like the foul. it. I like it. I like guys who play hard. Onyenso, five blocks against AM on Saturday for Onyenso. And Mississippi State with the takeaway. It's Cameron Matthews. Here's Hubbard. On the rim. Now he doesn't fix the problem for Kentucky guarding the ball, although Kentucky has been so much better tonight as opposed to what they were at AM. Well, maybe Cal would play zone. Nice ball, but a nice adjustment by Henry Coleman. Freshman year at Duke, played sparingly. Third year here in College Station. A turnover and transition. Good fake. Stay in front. Tough catch by Carter. Rejected. Mitchell got a piece of it. Dillingham. Oh, what a steal. Taylor picks his pocket. Say, Jay, tell me, where do the students sit here in Gainesville? I can't tell. <laughs> they are right behind us, and they are having fun. They got themselves out of bed nice. Got a ton of potential. He's good now, but he's going to be really good. He will be a household name very soon. Dillingham baseline tried to get it to Bradshaw. Too much traffic. Riley Cooper. Help defense has been very engaged. They're moving as the ball moves, moving on airtime. And they were right there to knock it away. And now a steal by Kugel. And Boy, good switch by Samuel. Good pressure and a turnover. There's risk associated. <laughs> as I'm sure you do. <laughs> it's Look at Spring Lake. Beautiful little beach. It's my home state. Going back the other way. Should I should I come visit, Kevin? Not so much tonight against Henley Hatfield. And you're going to play your way to a national championship this year with the bigs that are out there with Hunter Dickinson and Zach Eady and the big cost of the world, Philip House. And the rebound off to Mitchell. He's going to attack. Dillingham, did he step on the baseline? Yeah, he did. Well, he can really turn the corner and go at the rim. Pass, but have a lot of players contribute and shoot. I heard our colleague Jay Billis talk about he thinks he is the most complete player Reed Shepard is that Kentucky has. Just let me do whatever I wanted to do. Yeah. And uh, I definitely picked the right school for that. Kentucky's got a three point lead here, by the way. Rob Dillingham gives that one away. Hey, what would have been your first? Uh, in that back row, in that pack line defense, having his size, his timing, rotating. Dillingham is a blur, although his pass was knocked away. Good idea. He was trying to feed it to Bradshaw. 108 three pointers in two seasons there. Wide pass. Reeves has to save it. And then when he tried to get it to Shepard, it's picked off by Hodge. And another three from the left side from Jenkins. But it'll take some time for him to get his legs underneath him. I'm sure he's going to be anxious. Dillingham's pass was low, and it goes off the feet of Bradshaw. And it goes out of bounds. Not exactly probably the way he would have missed. The three not falling with the same frequency in the second half for UNCW. That it did in the first half. A little out of control. Dillingham, it was saved along the baseline by Hodge. And then Reeves commits a blocking foul. Rattan Mays back. Offensive foul is the call. And that'll be number three on Rob Dillingham. Delano will just stop right here and pop it. Cats have turned it up. They've made six of their last eight. And Eric pass from Dillingham. Yeah, just need to make the single on that one. Comes to Dillingham. Dillingham, too many steps. In the Euro era of basketball? <laughs> Is that possible? Shepard, look what he found. Dillingham, and he traveled again. I believe that wasn't one. Kentucky players still looking around at the opinion. Yep, and under, and Kentucky's on the run. Dillingham is going to scramble and wait on his teammates but then he lost the ball out of bounds Dillingham's just a little too fast right now yeah and I thought he was making a, a smart move that time by pulling it out menos de cinco segundos uy perdió la posesión Kentucky 
le van a quedar poco menos de cinco a Kansas para hacer algo todavía, ¿eh? Y fíjate que son, de alguna manera son sacadas del fútbol las ideas, ¿no? Correcto. Son como, son, son como, copa, como una copa del rey en España o como una FA Cup en Inglaterra, como una copa. Dillingham, a steal. And he had a huge game against Alabama, Jimmy, in 20 minutes. You know he went 7 for 11, had 18 points and 4 blocks. He's already got a couple now. Look at the speed of Dillingham. The rip. Missed. Johnson almost lost it. Now he did. He can't show the ball like that. He's got Fierro in the post in there. He wants it too. I give it to him. Guys, come out the screen. Tough catch. Dillingham. How about on 22 of Tennessee's 36? That has him even with Kentucky. Kick that one out of bounds after the pressure from Dillingham. A really good low hand, right? By Dillingham to get low because Ziggler's only 5'10 and plays low. It is his money. Connect lost it. Here's Dillingham on Ziegler. High praise. Onion, so look wow. at that big man make a move inside. And then a turnover into the hands of Dillingham. Dillingham. Best offensive rebounding guards in the country. Was in Blacksburg, and he is here as well, as Coleman lost it out of bounds. And just that elbow catch. You want to try to extend that if you can. With a six-point advantage in its final tune-up before conference play begins next Saturday. Kentucky opens up against Florida. Wildcats on the move again. <laughs> I was never good at trash talk. <laughs> Dillingham up ahead to Reeves. Let's go into the line for one more. Yeah, Burks brings a different type of... But remember, Kentucky still does have one more non-conference game. We got the extra week this year, uh -oh. so they play Gonzaga in February. Here comes Dillingham. Throw down. I would not count out either Sark or Kalen DeBoer in the Sugar Bowl. Right. Either one to meet whoever wins between Alabama and Michigan. You talk to the blue bloods of college football. Piero. Now Baycott's got the move he wanted. Still two guys on him. Nice and screen. he threw it away. Good foul. Good foul. Good foul. Good foul. To work. This is a long two. Spinoza down with the board. Oh, yeah, Dillingham takes it away. Oh, nice. Rises and lays it in. Nice work. Nice. Slacker to Spinoza. Knocked away. That was Shepard with a good sleight of hand. And again, Shepard eyes up. Finds Wagner. Sets to Fiera. There's Farrar. A big body. They double him and it's stolen away by the quick hands of Rob Dillingham. Reeves will be eligible or not, but they're going to have a lot of size, presumably, within the next several weeks, even if it's just Bradshaw. Heavy traffic there. Joseph high up for the rebound. He got that off in a hurry. And Joseph just lost it off the dribble. Scooped up by Dillingham in transit. Started by Wagner. Here's his touch. Trying to reach it inside. It's knocked away. Dillingham out front. Oh, the follow is tipped. Telling us, hey, this is one thing he's got to learn in his next progression is learning to be a part of an opposing team's scouting report. Once you do something well, the other team, the next opponent's going to know about it. 11 of their 18 field goals are three-point attempts, and they're shooting 72%. It's amazing. Dillingham with a steal, and here he goes. Woo, did you see that? Igual y no me da tiempo por la nieve que tengo que limpiar o las hojas, entonces. Muy bien. Sale el equipo de Kentucky, 4 contra 2, a ver si lo aprovecha. Y claro que sí lo va a aprovechar. Antonio Riff de cancha había estado hasta el momento 2 de 7 en triples, 5 de 5 en dobles, ¿era? 2 de 7 en triples. Y el otro había sido una habilitación de este señor, precisamente, que ahora provoca la pérdida de Rod Dillingham. It's over. What a great year he's having. 
Pulling hard kick. Dillingham just took the ball out of his hand before he laid it up. This year, eight, nine, ten point games. The, the, the two most disappointing games to me, they did not show up against DePaul or Arkansas State. Right. That's when the talk. Look at this look, look, screen. Connect. Too strong. Big rebound again. James. It's James. Nice Here kick. It. Ziegler. Short. And it's rebounded by Reed. Baines. Say he is so clever besides. 80 to 69, Kentucky. James can't hit the three. Reed. Lead. Keep attacking the rim. Keep attacking. Don't settle. He can. Got it. Oh, for we got a yellow light. Slow it down. Now he attracts the double team. You got to make him pay if you do. No, underneath the basket. Uh, jackknives. That's not what an up and under move is. Broom, a nice look. Johnson passes it up. Jones will take it and hit it. Dillingham came over to help. And how about a three second call? He was living in there. And that ball is now in. Paul Lewis. West misfires. Big rebound. Ripped out of the Reeves this season. Every this? time he catches, he looks like he's going to score that ball. Dillingham and Reeves have combined to start this game. Eight for ten overall. And five out of five from behind the arc. We got a little switch. We got 7-2 defending to 5-11 Mignon. Amateros wide open. Knocks home his second three of the game. Remember, he came in. Rivera Torres, no good. Bradshaw the reap. Here's Ganey, fumbled the pass, kicks it to the corner. Up the top of the backboard. Shepard, great. Oh, they won an effort by Anjenso. That ball's on the floor, nearly lost. And Florida lucky to hang on to it, and then an ill-advised three. He pulls up from the free throw line, can't get it to go. Condon underneath. That three misses Shen from Auburn gives them some big time athleticism. Shot clock running down. Clayton gets it off in a hurry. On a rebound. How kicks it back out. Condon, they just need to get a, a paint touch. Haven't gotten it yet. It'll be pulling for three. And Sam the left side of the floor. He got to the right side and then went right into the body of Condon. Out for three. Wagner the rebound the white Kentucky showing you the full range of abilities tonight. A couple players down to the floor. Three Cora for is giving Coach Payne some nice minutes here. Through traffic, Emmanuel slipped it by White, but out of the corner, Johnson strong with a three. And they shake off the migraine that Penn has been. After half, another deep one. Brown, 4-3. One there at the rim. Carolyn Penn is 9 of 12 from the floor this second half. Perkins, another. That's a three. Timeout can ton the distance. Donahue has uh, trusted and experience of a coach as he can find. One of the 300 wins. Really just slowing it down and making sure they get a good look on this end. Jenkins. I guess that shoot on the floor. Kentucky is really dangerous on the offensive end. George back for Watson and a triple. Around and out. Rebound is. I'm thinking put on the Jets. As soon as you get a defense rebound and make 22 run up and down the court. Quick release on the three off the back rim. Making an impact by creating another advantage for a teammate. Good hands by Justin Edwards to knock it into the backcourt. But the result is a three from St. Joe's. Pass into the corner for another three. You were dead on about the three attempts in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, like, like a Greg Shaheen and a Mike Trangizi and a Dan Leibowitz mm -hmm. over the years at the league office. And, you know, I, I've... Basketball and then maybe something off the court, but you're doing it together. So traveling like this is a great way to become a team. Here's a quick three off the inbounds. 
the uh, top of the key. Kentucky's got to find a way to find those corners, but that middle is open all the time, and Trey Mitchell taking advantage. Benigni could. Benigni breaks the press. Felder grabs his own miss. Que a altura con Kansas. Pero la energía que le imprime Kentucky ahora con la defensa. Ha abierto el triple. Se va a animar y consigue los tres puntos. Harris para tratar de hacer. Quiere levantar. El antebrazo también. En el antebrazo en la espalda y después le baja el brazo. En el comienzo de la acción. Buen pase, pero falla. Estaba abierto con el triple y después. Va. Cuando el tiempo lo permita, un paseo en el río. Y incluso hasta nadar en el lago. Muy bien, ahí el triple. Turnover. They're the ones that are going to be da dangerous. Makai Mitchell in the, in the game now. He just bobbled that last pass, but he can score inside. Battle missed a deep three. Urchin. Dillingham, great three point shooter, but that's a runner over a lengthy defender. Ellis going to try the other side up and under. That time, he was in. Now they'll move it and get another ISO. They'll look for battle and ISO or a high ball screen here. Ellis found a little seam, got through the big guy, but didn't get it to drop. This is where these young guys show their poise, these young Kentucky Wildcats. Battle inside. Rebound comes off the Edison. Inspired ball early. Sierra was the one guy Mississippi State's not afraid to help off of. Hubbard, long three. He got fouled by Dillingham, and that's three free throws. His first miss in two games after that perfection he had the other night. There's the block by Ivicic. Stays alive. Huddle and said, I'm going to play you, Rob. How bad do you want to play? Do not foul. That's how important Dillingham is to the Wildcats as the dogs get another butt roll man. I told Lou Smith back into the game. He was so active. Five of eight in the first half. Davis step back three. No good. And there's the first player in double figures in this game. Holloway fouled on a three point attempt. Aiden Holloway just came off that little brush screen up. Well, usually, Ole Miss is a no middle team. Lights the crowd up a little bit. Same play as early in the run out. Hickman Turn off the glass. But they know how to freeze guys at the rim. They really do. Nine of 11 on their three point attempts. On Yon. He's a seam. And he is hit across the arm, and he'll make machine records here in Nashville that signed Taylor Swift when she was 15 years old. Isn't that something? Found that out today. Good nugget there. Yeah. Ganey. And a loose ball. This will win you some games. Weak side defense will win you a title. Tennessee negligent on that time. Ziegler with the reverse. On 22 of Tennessee's 36. That has them even with Kentucky. Kicked that one out of bounds after the pressure from Dillingham. A really good low hands, right? By Dillingham to get low. Here's Ziegler. Nice finish by Zakai Ziegler. He's got double. 19. An efficient game for Dillingham. Ziegler, nobody stops the basketball. Able to challenge that shot, make him score over without fouling. Google floater is good. Florida's getting a piece of the paint on the it's over. What a great year he's having. Pulling hard take. Dillingham just took the ball out of his hand before he laid it. Through the opening stands of plus here. You start a point guard, Georgia does, and then you bring in the veteran Justin Hill, who will play a lot of minutes. He's very good with the basketball. Again, a block and now a tray. Have yourself a debut, Big Z. And a block. Another block. Short and clock, right? Right now, you got to go. Yeah, now they got their score. Hubbard in the game. Left it short from the mid-range. He's really struggling with a shot. View on this Kentucky roster. He's such an outstanding passer. He can guard multiple spots. He can play the five for you. Boy, Taylor feeling it. Comes up empty there. Now win them all. If you're the kind to look at NBA mock drafts, you'll find him. Whoa! 
Manny Obasiki. Tyrese Radford getting downhill has been huge in this game. Taylor for three, wide left. He has made six of them today. Clark wanted a screen. Shake and foul by Dillingham. Luke. Hayes. <laughs> and on the other end, he gets called for the goal tip. Count the back. So far in the game, Dave, Miami four of six from three. Kentucky just one of eight. One of the reasons Kentucky's not having the right guy shoot those threes. Rob Dillingham hasn't gotten one off yet. Joseph high up for the rebound. He got that off in a hurry. And Joseph just lost it off the dribble. Reynolds got around Dillingham. 24 puntos para él. Te digo, no tiene miedo a tirar, eh. 7 de 20, no los mejores porcentajes, pero tira y tira y tira y no pierde la confianza. ¿Y qué me dices de Harry? Nice bumps all across the top for the baseline. Here's Ziegler, little shake and bake. And it's denied, blocked by Onyenso. Johnson almost lost it, now he did. They joined the team as late as he did. And look at this Kentucky lineup. Quickness at the guards, they can all three shoot the heck out of it and score. And then the two bigs inside, 7-1, 7-2. This is a only second in this league behind Auburn. Ooh, tough shot, Paul Lewis. That Bayshack with a baseline drive. That's a mismatch, James with Dillingham. Josiah Jordan James has been in a ton. Connect guarded by Dillingham. He's got a size advantage. Shot like a three. Out of bounds off Dillingham. Fourth to get him ready to play two games. That's the type of work ethic that you've got to have to become a special. Ziegler is able to draw the foul. And he'll go. They're going to wait till the under eight if they could to get Dillingham in. With every passing second, the pressure on returning him gets greater. Ziegler short. It's a season high for Kentucky and a four-point lead. Feels like a ten-point lead right now. Poland, no good. Samuel, yes, so strong. Kentucky like was on skates, so smooth, maintaining his balance. Kentucky up 43-26. There's a block. Onion, so. Well, zone look for Texas A&M. And Kentucky made him pay. The corners are open. Taylor, no. Kept alive by Garson. Was able to find Dillingham with that great pass. A minute 20 to go. Taylor. Brad. This is having started. They'll start this week, but the students came back to town en masse for this game between Florida and Kentucky. Will Richard into traffic. And the principal. Here is Johnson. Five to shoot. Williams in a bit of a trap against Dillingham. Fall away. Got it. Yeah, you're gonna have to have some of those hanging. I would not count out either Sark or Kalen DeBoer in the Sugar Bowl. Right. Either one. To meet whoever wins between Alabama and Michigan. You talk and Clark to work. On the drive, the scoop. No. On Yenso. He gets it back, but he's stuck over there in front of his own bench. Work hard a shot like that to get fouled. You know, Ozum has scored 16 of the last 21 for the Seahawks. Has not touched it yet on this possession. And now Phillips with the shot clock winding down. Stumau got it Basket over Edwards. Kentucky, good closeout. Connect the floater. Doesn't go, but a foul. That's what makes him attractive. You beach it deep and put it on the deck. And it's Again for Kentucky. So two big guys on the floor for the Cats. Nice spin move and up and over and a chance for a three-point play handling the Auburn pressure Much better after that timeout where John Calipari could get them refocused Holloway burst to speed and he lays it into the other end EK doubled There's a teardrop that's a little bit short trying to keep it alive Ziegler kicks to James. 
with a shot clock at two, a contested three. Just Every rivalry is the same intensity-wise to the participants and the fans of that rivalry, but somehow Duke Carolina just captures the imagination of so many. And he's been terrific all, all first half long. Pulling the ball fake, needs it, and he gets it. Dillingham went flying. Hey, I'm gonna bury it. Now, talking to Jack Evans, a great Jack Evans. He said before the game he might be our best shooter. Wow. Strong take. Fiction, does he not? Here's Matthews. I mean, you know, there is no doubt in Kentucky's talent. And all the guys that are gonna be in the NBA. Three over an eight-game stretch. So that was an important, important bucket for Justin Edwards. Carter's feeling it. And hits it. And each team has all. And another offensive rebound for the Aggies, this time Levesque. Taylor, the force, won't go. Now Kentucky's got... For Portal, we, we talked to him about the journey. Shin Coleman was the lead recruiter in courting him, and it, it just made... Basketball, they've actually got good looks, just hadn't been able to knock down shots. And when you can't do that, that's when you have to do like Ryan Peaton said and try to get to the rim. Banks, connect. Yep. And he is just a bona fide scorer and shooter this season. Davis, the kick out. Right back to him. Let's fly off the mark. Shepard with a rebound. Here. With Edwards, defensive help from Shepard, a kick out almost thrown away. One to shoot, and that did not hit the rim. As Offensive rebounds have killed Kentucky. There's a drive and a kick. So of the kick threes, Brown, Mitchell blocks it, one second left, a he from Thierry. Telling us, hey, this is one thing he's got to learn in his next progression, is learning to be a part of an opposing team's scouting report. Once you do something well, the other team, the next the loose ball, Felder into the lane, he draws the foul on Burks. Maybe the, maybe the one thing Reed Shepard's done wrong tonight, save the ball under your own basket. Or under the other team's basket. Antonio Riff de Cancha había estado hasta el momento 2 de 7 en triples. 5 de 5 en dobles, era 2 de 7 en triples. Y el otro había sido una habilitación de este señor. In for Kentucky. Dalton Connect has scored 21 of Tennessee's 34 points. They trail Kentucky by four. Ziegler, too strong. The hustle. There's the block by Ivicic. Stays alive. Hubbard fires. Oh, halfway down and out. So Jamarian Sharp at 7-5 back into the game for Ole Miss. And Morrell, difficult shot, finds the bottom of the net. Such a good middle. Corner three way off the mark by Taylor. Get it deep from transition along with Reeves. Here's a look at on the floor for Tennessee, brought to you by Degree, and a falling shot drilled by Ganey, who gives him seven again. It is his money. Connect lost it. Here's Dillingham on Ziegler. Vescovy behind the screen. Bradshaw and the easy lob pass. Richard, tough baseline follow away. That's no good. And here comes Dillon. Full of pressing Mississippi State. Is that kid getting loose in transition for threes? Good swing. And a three from the other side from Sean Jones Jr. Jr. Good shooter in that short roll from 15. So the must bus got a little bit of a tune-up. They did. They got some air in the tires. Got some hope. Three ball goes. That was an arrow from action. The big dribbles towards those guards, and they have multiple actions they can go off of it. Bell, a big body screener, Fort from the corner, and Shepard with the board. Energetic at the best of times, and he's got fresh legs right now. Taylor gets free. Hits again! Playing heavy minutes, not having to slow down with Bradshaw now on the floor. Scott Clark shoots, and hits. 16th three of the year. For and when uh, Jim Larnagan and his staff started recruiting him out of the portal, he said, this isn't going to be a problem, this thing, is it? <laughs> Turned out it's not. Back too strong. Oh, nearly stuffed in. A step through by Burke. That was a physical play hard to the basket. 
Here's a three ball. No. Burks rebounds it. Y desde su casa ese triple. Ni hablar nos deja porque está tomando el toro por los cuernos y responde Kansas. Igual y no me da tiempo por la nieve que tengo que limpiar o las hojas. Entonces. <ríe> Muy bien. Sale el equipo de Kentucky. 4 contra 2. A ver si lo